हे गाइस दिस इज विशाल फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल आई लाइक टू से थैंक्स टू ऑल माय व्यूअर्स एंड सब्सक्राइबर्स फॉर शोइंग सच अ ग्रेट रिस्पांस ऑन माय ट्यूटोरियल्स एंड एज यू गाइस सजेस्टेड दिस ट्यूटोरियल विल टॉक अबाउट डेटा व्यू ट्रांसफॉर्मेशन लैंग्वेज इन म्यू विथ दैट पिंग सेड आई क्रिएट अ सिंपल पोस्ट फ्लो विच एक्सेप्ट वन जेसन रिक्वेस्ट then we'll use the data view language to transform the json request into json and xml format all right so i have already created a project named data view tutorial and i have also created a simple post flow with the two components one is a http connector and second one is a logger so let's go to the mule palette and search for the transform message and drag it in between these two component now inside properties i make it little big i be make it bigger one i just close this package explorer and change the view of this properties okay this looks good inside this section you can write your data view expression to transform your json request in either in json format or in xml format so here you might have one thing notice the output type is the application java so i just change it to the json delete this two curly parentheses and type payload that means i'm passing the request as is to the output response so let's go in and run this project right click on my project run as mule application i save it I want to make sure that whatever the request I'm passing, it should get in my response. All right, my application is started. Let's go to the Postman. I'm passing this JSON request to my flow. I click on Send button. I should get the same response in return. So inside body, as you can see. the same response has been returned by my mule flow since we are not doing any transformation logic now i want to write a data view expression to retrieve only specific fields from this json request so let's go to the properties of transform message here there is a option called preview if you click on this it will ask you for the required sample data to execute preview what it does is that whatever the mule expression you have written in this section it will automatically show you the preview of it so that you will get the understanding what the data will be transformed to so let's click on this create required sample data i click on this action add the example so i give name as a json request click on create type inside type it's a simple so i'll select it to the json inside instead of schema it should be example and here it will ask you to select the example file so i go and select the example file which i have stored so this is my example file select okay So now as you can see it's previewing me the expression what i have written inside this section now i will use data view expression to transform this message first thing is that i will precede this payload by some tag called flight flights actually colon so inside preview you can see the json request or the response you can say is wrapped inside this flight tag Now I just delete this payload and put a curly braces. Inside this curly braces, I'll read only specific fields, just like I want to read price, origin, destination, and total seats available. Now inside flights, write my expression. First, I want to give some description to my details, so I'll write one description tag. Name you can give anything. so inside description value i'll give it as a flight details comma then i want to bring price 
I use payload dot auto complete here you can select price comma I want to bring origin or you can change the name to I'll say it is start colon payload then select from this autocomplete origin then destination I will give name as end payload dot destination finally I want to bring total seats available so total seats colon payload dot now inside payload the total seats are available in plain tag so it will be payload dot plain dot total seats selected it save it now if you go to the preview you can see the response has been transformed first tag is flights then inside that there is a five there are five tags description price start and total seats with their values so this is how you can transform a json request into another json now what if i want to transform it into a xml format so as you can see there is an output type mentioned as a application slash json what if i change it to the xml do i get xml form so review will automatic preview will automatically give me the xml details now if i want to add more details into this you can go ahead and add it like i want to give empty seats also colon payload oh, empty seats so add one more tag to the empty seats if you want to add anything within that flight section you can create your own tag suppose i want to give something like code like code you have to give and i open the tag inside it i'll give a first is a name something like this i give name as a flight and then one more equal value one more tag inside that i'll read it from payload the code so basically it will create a one more tag inside that it will add name and value this is how you can convert any json request into either json form or xml form using data view expression language in the next tutorial we'll continue the same topic and try to transform some complex data structure like array of json's